Welcome to Phone Mart. How may I help you? iPhone 4. Where is the iPhone 4? I need an iPhone 4. This also appears to be a MacBook that's having backlight problems. First thing to do here is see if we're getting any voltage on the screen's image circuit itself. So I'm expecting 5 volts to go to the screen to turn it on. And we're getting that. And the next thing we're going to do is check the screen backlight voltage. And backlight voltage appears to be 0. So backlight voltage being 0 is no good. So first thing to do here, turn it off real quick and see if there's a short to ground on backlight output. And there is, 88 ohms. And the short is independent of the screen cable. So the reason I unplug this is because, remember, the backlight voltage is going to go from the motherboard through the screen cable to the screen itself. So the, the short circuit could be anywhere in the screen cable, the motherboard, or the screen. So by unplugging this, I'm isolating it to ensure that the short circuit is on the board. So see here, I have 84 ohms on backlight output, and that's even once I've unplugged the screen. So I have taken both the screen cable and the screen itself out of the equation and ensured that the problem is with the board. So now we're going to take the board out of the case and try to figure out why it is we have 88 ohms to ground, which is what would be causing us to have no backlight. Okay, so we're going to be looking for something along the backlight rail that's shorting our backlight rail to ground. Let's see what we can find as we look over this MacBook. This is the LCD connector. Looks fine. These are the capacitors. Notice how two of those capacitors have solder balls next to them. Solder ball. Solder ball. Solder ball. Solder ball. Solder ball. That's a bit of a hint as to what it is that could be shorted. Now we're going to take a look at the underside of this MacBook and we have more caps. But these ones don't have solder balls next to them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove those capacitors that had solder balls next to them. Use the quick hot air station available at store.rossmangroup.com on sale at a low, low price. Which I hope you buy since we've got over a hundred of them in the basement. Let's see if we still have a low resistance to ground. Where did you get your microscope? Well, you can check the uh, links in the description of this video below and you can find a microscope just like mine. It appears removing those caps has resulted in a much higher resistance to ground. Kilo ohms. Instead of 88 ohms, we're up to 100,000 ohms and rising. Meaning that that was most likely the problem with this MacBook was a short circuit to ground as a result of a capacitor that had gone bad. Now, we were able to tell which capacitor went bad without running any voltage or even using a thermal camera by simply using our eyes, our microscope, and our hints. And if you want a microscope like mine, don't delay. Check out the affiliate links that you'll find down below to get a microscope just like mine today. Everyday low prices, free shipping via Amazon Prime, high quality microscopes. And we were able to see with that microscope that there was a solder ball next to a cap. Da, da, da. Okay.
Now let's grab some new capacitors to put there. And by new, I mean capacitors from a high quality donor board. Certified pre owned. They were certified by me to be high quality. Beautiful, lovely caps. Now those capacitors are a little crooked, but so almost everything I've ever soldered is a little crooked. Almost every painting or mirror I've hung on a wall is a little crooked. And that's okay. That's okay. You find yourself a girlfriend that don't mind if you put the capacitors on crooked or if you hang the mirror on the wall a little crooked. Because that's just you. That's who you are. And it's okay. Happy New Year and best wishes to you and your viewers. Thank you. This is still going to work, even though it's a little crooked. Ain't nobody going to care that it's a little crooked. So now, we're going to see if this works with the screen inside this MacBook. If you didn't notice, I got myself a replacement to that DPA microphone that died. This is the DPA 4066. kind of like this thing. Isn't it sexy? Isn't it beautiful? My DPA 4066 finally died the other day. So I got this thing. I got this microphone to replace it. It's out. I like my DPA. No more captain tape on the microphone. I'm a big fanboy for DPA microphones. Here. I'm not a fanboy of much in life, but I do like DPA. It's one of my favorites. Had an influx of new subs to YouTube. What are your tips to make good content and not make a fool of yourself on stream? I always make a fool of myself on stream, but my tip is just roll with it and not care. I screw things up, I fix them. And I think that's what makes, what makes this stream unique, is I don't try to make myself seem smarter than I am. If I screw something up, I, just, I fix it. It's just that. And if, I, and if something occurs that is unfixable for whatever reason, I explain why it is that I think that it's unfixable. I don't try to hide it. And I think people appreciate that level of honesty. Now, the thing is, there are people who are going to... You know, let's say I do a funny stream every now and then, like me, me working on my Samsung S7, which I've never opened before. So I took my sweet time and rebuilding my PC. There are a lot of people that that genuinely, like, they jerk off to what they seriously, they, they take their fly, they put it down, and they just wipe a big load up for themselves over realizing that somebody on the screen did something a little bit slower or worse than them, and just, they can suck a dick. Just, like, report, they just fuck all those people. Who cares if they exist? Um, you're probably going to have that on your channel, too, and I have it every now and then. That's what hide, user, and report spam is for. Um, but yeah, Tim, I, I, I'm confident you'll you'd be able to make an excellent channel. Okay, so let's see if we have a light on this MacBook. And we do! Look at that! Look at that! A backlight! So those caps were shorting my backlight circuit to ground, and after replacing them, it works. Now, why did this fault happen in the first place? My best guess is going to be somebody replaced the screen and the MacBook got mad at them for replacing the screen. So as can be seen here, this screen has fresh adhesive on its webcam wire. See this? Fresh adhesive on the webcam wire. So this means that somebody most likely replaced their screen before, and so they replaced the screen, and then rather than the fuse blowing, the backlight caps exploded. Why? Because it's a Mac. With that, we're going to move on to the next MacBook. I also want an iPhone 4. Don't even get me started with that shit. Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store.